down to conditioning? Um, so far, conditioning right now, I'm a lot of light and cool. I'm a lot of light and cool. What's your prognosis for getting full clearance? Um, I should be 100% uh, healthy. Um, so, are you shooting for the European trip? Is that your goal? To that, my, my, get the goal is to play, my goal is to play over here, but I'm, I'm not rushing to do it. Has it been tough, you know, trying to want to show your new teammates what you're about and oh, not no. being able to? Oh, no, definitely, definitely. I was actually excited. I was hoping I was going to get a chance to play out here um, in this Rocky Top League. But they, they kind of know my situation and everything, so they, they're all over. They're all just helping me out through the process, through the workouts and everything. So just what's the transition like, been like coming to a new place you know, as, a, as a senior? So the small school I came from, um, Howard University, it, 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 it's a totally different transition. Um, I actually love the city, love Knoxville, love everything about the school, so. So, so good. Right, 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 right. Have you got a chance to see anything or do anything to the city while you Um, Not necessarily. I've seen the strip, um, <laughs> seen downtown a little bit. But not, not anything just so interesting. Or it, it's, just, it's just kind of just a nice college style. What are some of your uh, expectations for this year? Um, I have very high expectations for our group. Um, I feel as though we have a young team, but these guys had a lot of experience last year. And adding me, adding Chris, um, our couple of freshmen, um, I, I feel as though we have a chance to compete for um, not only just win the conference, but like a national title, I feel like. Um, that's that's kind of up to coach, but we're, we're we're all just trying to win. That, that's the main goal. That's what Coach Barnes is really stressing out to us right now. Is just winning. Why Tennessee? Any shooter, school shooter, shooter. After considering Ohio State, um, Michigan, and Paul, when I came to Tennessee, it was a family um, with the coaching staff, with Coach Barnes. It was just that family environment that that's, that's what I was looking for because you, you want to go to a place where you love and this is where I felt that love. What, what, at what point in your career at Howard did you think about this possibility that maybe you could go somewhere else and finish up? Um, probably my initial injury. When that happened is when it kind of started going through my mind, well, I should probably weigh out my options if my ankle doesn't come back the way it's supposed to. Right. Was your coach at Howard uh, very was he receptive to it or understanding at least? Um, coach Nickelberry, he's he's like a father figure to me almost. So he helped me out with this whole process as it's been going. We're really close. James, did you, did you kind of pat yourself on the back for making a good decision after you saw what happened with Coach Bonner a couple of weeks ago? Where you were like, man, that would have been. <laughs> um, definitely. Um, I just this is we, we let God take control um, of our decision and everything that we do. So it, it was just meant to be. Oh, tough. One of the toughest things that I probably had to do. We were um, preseason um, picked to win our conference. We were going to be a really good team. We had an older team, about eight seniors. So it was it was really tough seeing my team go through that. I feel as, I feel as though I really am. Um, gave me a chance to see basketball from a different perspective. I'm um, usually the guy on the court, so me helping them, I, I feel as though I was a coach of the year. What about with Chris uh, there? Do you feel like y'all can play together? Or? Oh, definitely. Chris is an amazing talent. Um, another guard that can really score the ball. Um, I just feel as though that's that's one thing that Coach was looking for. Um, just good guards coming. Just great guard play, and I feel as though we bring that. Because coming in as a transfer, kind of added added chip on your shoulder when it comes to your approach. Um, always. Um, this is just uh, the biggest level of basketball, the SEC that there is. So I feel as though that's why I kind of chose Tennessee. This is a school where I can show my talents on, on the biggest stage. How excited are you to do that? I mean, obviously you've played D1 ball, you've proven yourself right. there, but to get to a place like this and to get that, I guess that that shot at doing that, how much does that mean to you? Right, super excited. Since I've been to college, I've always felt though I was one of the best players on the court, but as of right now, how I've been working and everything, I really feel as though I'm one of the best guards in the nation. And just being in my relationship with Coach Morris and his team, I, I just really feel as though that we have whatever it takes and all it takes to win. James, how have you been able to overcome your size in the in the past, you think? Um, work, just time and time in the gym. Um, I love staying in the gym. I love having teammates. I love being in the gym like these guys. Um, they just help me out. I help them out wherever I can. I'm, I'm a little older than all of them, so it's almost like a little big brother role. How much were you able to interact with some of the returning players and the existing players before you decided to come here? I took my visit about... I committed probably a week after my visit. So 
I had a little time to interact with the guys that came to the May Master or a little time then. So it was about seven or eight guys on campus. Um, Grant hosted me. So about a week, a couple of days, a couple of days I spent with them. It's so weird to be, you know, the, the new guy and also the oldest guy at the same time. You don't, it's not, it's not something you see very often. Um, it's not, but I feel as though that transition is probably easier for me, seeing as though I know myself, me being a little older. Um, these guys are still trying to find themselves. So it's, it's a big difference. Coming from the outside, what's your impression of SEC basketball in general? SEC basketball, fast, up pace, physical. These are some of the best talent in all of college sports, from basketball to football to any, any sport you want to name. So it's just a very competitive conference. What did some of the existing Tennessee players say about Rick Barnes' coaching style? Any of them talk about what, what he's like? Of course, you try, you try to pick their brains before you come to get a sense of what Coach Barnes is like. When I found out about Coach Barnes, he's um he's loving, he's caring. He wants the best out of every everybody on his team. So he demands a lot. But that's in this conference, in this type of brand of basketball, that's what you want out of a coach. Somebody that's going to push you to be better. So he, Coach Barnes is tough. When you looked at the Tennessee situation, how appealing was it when you look at a roster that's got a lot of youth and a lot of good talent and a, you know maybe a couple guards here that can be a really good team? Is that a pretty easy sell for you? Um, coming in. One of the major things that I wanted was I wanted to be on a team that I felt as though could compete um, for that conference championship and also a national championship. So coming in, I saw that they had a good front court and um, Grant, him being all SEC freshmen. So that was very enticing for me, playing with um, a good bigs. Because at, at this level, you need those guys to win. On top of great guard play. Take two more. What are some other strengths of yours that people haven't seen you play? Besides the scoring aspect of it and experience, what, what else stands out about your game? What I feel as though stands out about my game is something probably a lot of you guys wouldn't see. Um, it's off the court. Me being able to bring guys together um, to just get the most out of people. Just a great locker room guy. It's, so you guys probably want to see that. You guys will see a lot of on the court. Um, me scoring, me high-fiving guys, but it, it's really the off the court that's It's probably the best part of my game. What do you do off the court? Um, just, just, that, just a good guy. Um, laugh and joke with him. Just, just keep it all fun off the court, but know, know that we're on the court. It's all business. So just keeping the different fields in line. Thanks, sir.